All right, guys, just putting the final touches on yesterday's vlog. Uh, just checking to see who's coming on. Look at the hearts. Oh, you guys are so nice to me. So I work in uh, Final Cut Pro 7. And uh, Suplex City's in the house. Nice. Don't forget to uh, shout out your hometown, country, and all that stuff. Yo, Ken, what up? Look at all the people coming in. We got Denmark in the house. We got Mike in the house. What's up? We got people from London, Scotland. Good morning from Burlington, Iowa. Denmark, Florida, Rhode Island. Anyway, just showing you guys. Uh, Germany, I was going to, Germany, Florida, England. Uh, Dame Drops is in the house. So nice. I'm just showing everybody. Uh, Texas, Wales, awesome. And Atlanta. Just showing everybody that I'm just uh, finishing up the vlog. Uh, I work in Final Cut Pro 7. It's just a program I've been using for like probably 15 years. I don't know how long it's been. Uh, yeah, yesterday we had a, a good day. Um, Carol and I went to a thing called Kempenfest up in Barrie. And uh, I didn't shoot any footage up there because it was kind of like a uh, husband and, and wife kind of afternoon. We just did what we wanted to do without videotaping it and we had a good time uh, although I started feeling weird uh, later on I'm not sure if I got like a little bit of a heat stroke or something was going on weird anyway if, if you guys wanted to discuss anything just leave some comments in the comment section below and I'll grab one of them and we can chat about it. oh Ben's new shoes uh, glad you liked it glad everybody like jumped on that um, I was gonna get into a better light situation there we go because that sucked. Um, we, ben and I went shopping for our shoes. We went to two different stores. We kept going back from store to store to store. And then he found two shoes that he liked. But it wasn't like the shoe he really wanted. So we took a picture of him wearing one of each shoe. And put it on Instagram and Twitter. And tons and tons of people commented. And left really good reasons why he should pick this shoe over that shoe. And then when it came right down to it. He really just either of those shoes really like hit it off. So then we put a picture up on Instagram last night of the shoes that he finalized on, which he bought at a completely different store, completely different mall. Anyway, so I thought, oh, somebody wants to know what my favorite NFL team is. Um, I don't have a favorite NFL team. I just love watching football. Uh, one of my friends, he has a bucket list where he wants to uh, see every single team play in every single stadium before he dies so uh they've been doing it for years prior to but i just never ever had the money to do that kind of stuff so now that i'm starting to get a little bit more money uh i, w I was invited last year to the new orleans saints game against the patriots i think i can't remember who they played against but they beat them which was awesome uh i've seen uh i've gone to a buffalo tailgating party and then into the stadium uh, we saw Buffalo play uh, Miami, and Buffalo won there. Then last year, uh, we went to New Orleans and saw the Saints play the Patriots, and the Sa Saints won, which was it's amazing to be in the city of the team that wins because it is like amazing chaos uh, partying ensues afterwards, and the feeling of being in the city that just won a game is just crazy. If you've never been in a city of a football team that won a game that night, you gotta do it, it's just, it's just phenomenal. So this year we're going to um, Nashville to watch the Tennessee Titans. I'm not sure who they're playing, but it's, uh, you guys probably would know this, you football crazy people. Uh, we are gonna be in Nashville, uh, I think on the 28th of August, I'm uh, sorry, of uh, October, somewhere around there, 26th to the 28th weekend. So it's going to be awesome. Again, we're going to, there's probably like anywhere from six to 10 guys that go down from, from Canada and uh, we take over the city and, and uh, have a lot of fun. My favorite Pokemons are, I guess you guys are talking Pokemons now. I don't know much about Pokemon except Poke Pikachu. Uh, NBA team. What is your favorite NBA team? Um, I don't, again, I don't follow football that much, but uh, I've always been, Pretty disappointed in the Toronto team. They just never, ever end up doing anything good. And uh, I think one year they, they spent a lot of money on one specific player. And the, the player was just like injured every single game. And it was just a disaster. So 
I don't really follow, follow that. Uh, I do like soccer. Um, again, when you're in a city that has a soccer team and they're playing that night, it's, again, it's just one of those things you just kind of have to go to, and it's just a lot of fun. Uh, and again, if the team wins. And how about uh, NHL? I like my Leafs. I will always be a Leafs fan. Uh, the last time they won the cup, I was one years old. <laughs> Uh, I don't remember it much. I, I don't remember the whole street party part of that, that, that of that night. Um, but uh, so yeah, I guess we're talking sports today. What's your favorite sport? Uh, I guess it would have to be football. I, I really like watching football. It's just uh, it was one of those. Uh, baseball is not bad. It's again it has a little bit of a boredom thing to it. Soccer is just like back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. <laughs> you get like a goal, maybe a game. So it's just, there's a lot of excitement, I guess that happens in the middle, but uh, anyway, uh, do you watch CFL? Yes, I like watching uh, Canadian football. Of course, again, it's football. So yeah, I guess football would be my, my favorite sport. I really like cycling, but I wouldn't, I don't necessarily like watching cycling. Uh, although the velodrome stuff, that's kind of really interesting. It's a short, short, fast races and so it has a lot of excitement in a short period of time uh, but Tour de France it's like hours and hours of painstaking pedaling what about tennis tennis Ooh. Um, I used to play tennis a long time ago when I was in my late teens to early adulthood uh, then it just kind of died off but watching tennis I wouldn't like stop what I was doing because a tennis game was on Hi from Cincinnati. Hello. Look, thanks for all the hearts, guys. We've got 52 people in the house, and the hearts are just pouring in. Again, if you want to discuss anything about anything more about sports you want to know about me, you're more than, You know what I'll do? I'm going to take you into my hat collection. It's at the back of my house here. Who is your favorite Mario character? I guess it would be Mario. So this is where I keep... Whoops. This is like my back hallway, and uh, this is where I keep all my hats. So I got my my cycling hat, and I got my Tilly hat, and then I've got the Tickle Toad hat. That's my like gardening hat, and then we've got the uh, sh uh, Chicago Bears hat, which I just got when I went to Chicago. Uh, that's when I went to New York for the very first time. When I met Dame for the very first time. When I went to Connecticut, uh, that's Ben's hat. That's when I went to Texas. Obviously, Gun Barrel, Texas. That's a hat that one of my awesome subscribers made for me. There is my uh, Breaking Bad hat. That's called a pork pie hat. I keep it in a bag so it doesn't get dusty. And uh, there's my Saints. I mean, sorry. There's my Saints hat. And there's my uh, 49ers hat. That's what I should do right there. People were very disappointed in uh, the fact that I went from Saints to is this that whenever I go to a city, I buy a hat just to, to support their team. And I have another gum barrel hat right there. I know my back hall's messy. Let's let's try this on for you guys because you guys are special. Let's go. So we will take the Heisenberg hat. Uh, you need a Packers hat. Well, eventually when we go to the city of the Packers, can you uh, tell me which city the Packers are from? Please, because I don't know. I'm going to put my hat on, see if I can do it. It's hard to do this while you're... So it's, uh, I believe, there's that on the side. So you're supposed to put it right to the top of your eyebrow. There you go. And there's my Heisenberg hat. Knock, knock. <laughs> uh, Green Bay Packers, what city are they from? Green Bay, but what... That's not... Well, what um, state... Uh, the Green Bay Packers from when is the next California trip uh it'll, it'll probably be next year but I'm not sure what I should do this all the time because that's, that's the way the, the hat looks best when you do this hey <laughs> oh Wisconsin right okay so Wisconsin would be good uh we'd have to go like early in the season because we like to not be freezing cold so uh yeah, so thanks for telling me that, Wisconsin, because that's not as far as some of the other states that we have to drive to to go into a football game. What do you do before and after a large food challenge? Uh, before a challenge, not a whole lot, depending on what I'm eating, I guess. 
Um, after a challenge, uh, just drink a lot of water and uh, probably have a salad or something afterwards because that's the, the best thing you can do for your body. Is that only mine that lags? Yeah, I, I hope, sorry guys, if it's lagging or whatever. We've got pretty good internet here, so I'm not sure if it's the program. You should go back to Punta Cana. Someday, when I want to have diarrhea. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Uh, I kill myself. All right, guys, uh, I'm going to go now. I got to get the rest. I got to upload this vlog for you guys to watch, and then I have to... Uh, get some other stuff then I'm going up to the cottage for dinner and then we're going to be coming back and then tomorrow I got to do some other editing work uh, and then Tuesday just for you guys who are still on right now uh, Tuesday is the collab with Chuck from the Bronx and healthy junk food and we all went to Del Taco for my channel and for JP's channel we went to uh, Jack in the Box and for Chuck's channel, we drank beef bile, which is like cow vomit. Yeah, you'll love it. It'll be great. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Thanks for coming by on my Periscope. Thanks for all the hearts, and we will talk to you again later. Bye.